With really cold weather on the way, now is a good time to make sure you have carbon monoxide detectors, detectors or at least check the ones you already have. Years ago, carbon monoxide killed my grandparents, so it can happen. Every year, carbon monoxide kills more than 400 people nationwide. News on 6's Mackenzie Gladney spoke with Tulsa firefighters and joins us live tonight. Mackenzie. Well, Craig, experts say the rule of thumb is if something is meant to be used outside, it needs to stay outside. They also say now is the time to schedule maintenance on your gas burning appliances. It's, it's a silent killer. You have no idea it's in the house. Lynn Hall lived in her former home for months without knowing she was being poisoned by carbon monoxide. She and her husband, Mike, were sick, fighting off fatigue and fogginess. And we eventually got so sick that we decided to call the city and they came in to test the unit. And they immediately got us out because they said that the little Richter or whatever that little thing is went way over past where it was supposed to be. Mike died earlier this year and Lynn says carbon monoxide poisoning was a factor. You have to be extremely careful to be sure that you've got everything that you need to do to be safe for yourself. Firefighters say proper ventilation is even more important during the holiday season when the kitchen stove is being used for a long time. Whenever you use any sort of device uh, for supplementary heat is to always use it in a well-vented area. Carbon monoxide is a color and odorless poison gas, so unless you have a CO detector, you might not know what's in your home. Experts say you should call 911 when you're nauseous, vomiting, losing your balance, and getting confused. We've got instruments on all of our trucks that can check to see what the CO levels are in a home. And if need be, we also have a hazardous response team that can come with a little bit more technical instruments. Lynn says just take the time to check your detectors because carbon monoxide poisoning can become deadly in just a few minutes. Change those batteries out because a life... A life is a life, and when they're gone, there's, there's no coming back. Now, the fire department encourages people to install a detector on every floor of their house and change the batteries every six months. Mackenzie Gladney, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.